One of the least discussed and understood parts of hitting mechanics is keeping the weight on the inside of the rear foot during the stride and plan on the front foot. It's key to lower on the rear leg and firmly feel the weight on the inside and front ball of the back foot as we stride. This sets a good launch angle of the body as well as keeping the power loaded back where we can drive the hips open with much more explosion. Once the front foot starts to plan, a powerful push off the rear foot starts rotation and allows us to drive the hips into the rotation and explosive torque of the hips and body. This maximizes the speed and power of the hip torque and allows us to reach full potential and increases consistency by reducing lunging of the upper body ahead of the hips. It allows us to see how hitters like Dara Toman, a top woman pro, is able to create such exit velocity on her line drives. Weight on the back foot drive the hips open off it. Uh, Brent McCollum, a great example of watching the weight on that back foot. You can see how firmly it's planted on the inside and the ball of the back foot. When the front foot plants, he can drive the hips open, again maximizing the power consistency. It gives hitters like Bubba Brumgart the ability to hit the ball 450 to 500 feet. And hitters like Vic Cordova, a small top pro, uh, the ability to hit for power, certainly worth the tip of the cap. For hitters that tend to not extend the arms and get jammed like this, a great way to help fight out of that is to get three different heists on the tee. Using the evil BP balls and the GT, I set one at the thigh, set one at the waist, and then one at the chest high level. And a lot of hitters that don't get good rotation and arm extension end up getting jammed. One of the biggest keys in order to get a better ability to hit a higher ball is to make sure the weight stays on the inside of the back foot during the stride. So when you stride and land your front foot open, the weight is still almost all here on the back foot as I start my rotation because I'm going to get a drive open off that, I'm pushing the drive open off that back foot. If I just land and come down early, I've compromised the body angle and thus I'm going to want to be jammed, jammed on every pitch that's above my waist. So using this apparatus set up here, I'll hit five at the thigh, then hit five at the waist, and five at the chest level. Chest level is a ball that you can want to hit more home runs, easier to hit the bottom of it, easier to cut through. And so all I would have to do on the, lower, on the higher pitch is when I keep my weight back and stay here, have a better body angle, if I drive it through a rotation, my body angle will be up, I'll be able to drive the hands at the plane of the ball I want to attack, and I'll be able to drive my hands and snap my wrist together. It's one motion as fast as you can to try to cut through the ball and come out the other side. So starting on the low pitch here, this is a pitch that guys who are jammed hit easier because their body angles ahead and they actually get, get out and get it way too far in front. So set yourself and try to keep the weight on the back, back leg and cut through it. Move up to the waist high. Set yourself on the tee, all off for a stride. And again, keep the weight on the inside of the back foot the whole time until the extra start to swing. When I get to this pitch, it's so hard to hit, especially if I'm coming ahead and down, I'm unable to hit that pitch well. So I've got to turn myself open, go to the point of impact, square my feet up, I'll off for a stride. And here, I'm going to lower myself, and then I'll rotate, and I'll drive my hands and snap my wrist, Try to cut through the ball. It feels good when you do that. You get the feeling that your hips are driving open as you make an impact. A lot of that has to do with how long you keep the weight on the inside of the back foot. That not only promotes the body angle, being good so you can drive a higher pitch, but it helps you drive the hips but at the same time you drive your hands and snap and cut through the ball. We can do one arm drills on the swing simulator here. Just hold it back, uh, away from your body and hold it back. Take your stride, take your stride, keep the weight back, and then boom, snap. Drive and snap. Bob. Want to keep the weight on the, when we land, we still want to have the weight on the inside of the back foot. So that when we, when we drive and we don't open, boom. We get a rotation and we get that extension and that snap.
I don't always swing senior bats, but when I do, I prefer the Di Marini. Stay balanced or mid-loaded, my friends.